Hi friends, in this video we are going to see how to create test cases. We will see how to create a test case template and then we will implement the test cases. The requirement I am going to take here is verify the functionality of the Facebook login page. So before going to create a test case template, I am going to open an excel sheet to create a test case template. I am changing the sheet name as test cases and before uh, adding the fields in the test case template, let's see what are the fields necessary in the test case template. While writing a test cases, we need to write a test cases for a particular module on a particular project. So we need project name. and module name and we need to take who is going to create a test case and then he created a test case and once the test case is created someone should review the test case either by the peers or by a team lead so we need to add a field reviewed by and reviewed date so we are going to take the next field as test scenario here our test scenario based our requirement is verify the login functionality of a Facebook login page so we need to take a test scenario ID and then test scenario description so for each and every test scenario we write test cases so I'm going to take a test case ID and test case description for every test scenario, there will be a preconditions and post conditions. Imagine for the login functionality to verify the login functionality. The precondition here is we need to have a valid URL. And for the post condition, after the login, it will show either a post page or some your favorites page, something else. Based upon the application, the relevant landing page will display. So the preconditions and post conditions we need to take. So after preconditions and post conditions, after ex to execute a test scenario, we have to assume a expected result and actual result. So we have to take expected result field and actual result field. And we need to take a status well, because after executing the test case, we need to see the status whether it is pass or failed. So earlier we have taken who created this test case and who reviewed this test case. And while executing the test case, someone will execute the test case. So we need to take the name of the tester here. So we need to take another field as test case executed by. and executed date which means when the tester executed the test case and comments if any so let's reorder the fields in the template For each and every template, we need to have a project name, module name, created by, created date, reviewed by, and reviewed date. So, and these fields, I'm going to keep it as a horizontal way.
I'm going to take a project name as Facebook and the module name as Facebook login page so login and created by and creation date whatever the date you want and reviewed by test lead or any peers review date and my test scenario ID is TS001 and the test scenario description verify the login functionality of Facebook login page and for this functionality for this test scenario I'm going to write a test cases I'm going to take a test case ID. Do you see? That would be login 001. And the first test case description is a positive test case. Enter a valid username and valid password and click on login. Before going to see preconditions and post conditions, let me take other test cases too. And my next test case is the test case ID is test case number two, and so on. Like I'm going to take two more test case IDs. Enter a valid username and invalid password and enter valid enter an invalid username and valid password and finally enter an invalid username and invalid password okay fine Now I am going to segregate the test case into test steps. So I am taking one more field here as test steps. Here I will write step 1, step 2, step 3 for each and every test case. So my first step is for the positive test case. This, this one is a positive test case. And these three are negative test cases.
Now writing the test steps. First step is enter valid username. Enter valid password. Enter. Click on login button. And for the te second test case, my test steps are Enter valid username enter invalid password click on login button and test steps for third test case enter invalid username enter valid password Click on login button and finally for the fourth test case enter invalid username enter invalid password and click on login button so for these test cases, the preconditions are we need to have a valid username, sorry, valid URL, test data, and so on. Like uh, Now let's add one more field as test data. For each and every test step, we need to take a test data. Here, for enter in valid username and valid password, we need to have a valid username and valid password. Username. These are the valid username and password is my test data and for the second test case the preconditions are the same preconditions for all the test cases uh, because all the test cases are similar for us and for all these test cases our test scenario is same and test description is same so I'm going to copy and paste here so for the second test case my username should be valid why because based upon the test step the username is valid whereas the password is not valid not valid it's an invalid password actually we are going to take an invalid password to make the test case fail similarly I'm going to take a username for the third test case as invalid test case in my invalid username here
and password is valid one. See here, I took the test step one as enter invalid username and the valid password. So I took an invalid username and valid password. And in the final test case, the username and password are invalid. Let's see the post conditions. The post condition here is once I enter a valid username and valid password and click on the log, login page, I need to see my Facebook main page. The post condition here is the user should be able to see the home page. The expected condition here is successful login. We can see the actual actual result once we executed this test case. For the second test case, the post condition will be a message pop up from the Facebook login page as your username or password are invalid. And expected result is a pop-up message box to show an error that invalid username or invalid password. Similarly, the same way, here we are going to take the invalid username and valid password. So the post condition is same. And for the final test case also, the, the post condition will be same. So the expected result is same for the test case 3 and test case 4. So once we execute these test cases, we can see the actual results. We can see the actual results and if the actual result and expected result are same we make the status as pass else we will make it as fail okay and we need to the one who is going to execute the test case he needs to add his name here or employee id
and execute a date and comments if any. Likewise, we can fill each and every field here. This is the way we are going to create a test cases for every requirement. So let's review the test case template again. We had a test case project, we have a project name, a field and module name and who created this test case and when and who reviewed this test case and when. And for the test case scenario, we need to take a uniquely identified test scenario ID and for this test scenario, we took four test cases like enter a valid username, enter a valid username and password, the first test case and we took a test case ID uniquely and the second test case is enter a valid username and invalid password and we took a uniquely identifier and the third test case is enter an invalid username and valid password and the fourth test case is enter an invalid and invalid password, enter an invalid username and invalid password. So for each and every test case, we segregated test case as test steps and for this test case, I took test, uh, three test steps like enter valid username as a first step and enter valid password as second step and click on login button as a third step. So the precondition here is a valid URL and we need to have a test data to enter a username and password. Our first test case is a positive test case so we need to have a valid username and valid password. So my valid username is facebook at gmail.com and the password is password. User should be able to see the home page once he successfully logged into the Facebook page. And the expected result is successful login. Why? Because we are going, we are going to uh, enter valid username and valid password. So the expected result should be successful login. And other fields are actual result and status, who executed this and when executed and comments if any. Thank you friends.